Swearing in uh, with the captain and taking the oath of reenlistment was definitely one of the highlights of my career. But this was no ordinary reenlistment. Master Sergeant Burke, an airfield manager and trained paratrooper, took his last reenlistment to new heights. Literally. Hi, James John Burke Jr. You saw me swear. You saw me swear. I needed to reenlist. My enlistment was coming up pretty soon. And I figured what better way to do it than uh, do it flying around a C-130 and then jump out as a paratrooper. Uh, the plane was moving a little bit around as it was flying, so you kind of had to keep your balance as well. But doing that, uh, that just added to how awesome that experience was. According to regulation, the uniform code of military justice. The uniform code of military justice. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you, sir. As special as the ceremony was, it's not the only thing he'll remember. I got a little turbulent at one point, so it just woke me up. I look over, and uh, in the beginning, we had had you take a air sick bag. And I actually carry one as well, because it can happen to anyone. So I look over, and all of a sudden, your air sick bag is out, and it's kind of in your pocket, like it's ready for use. And I uh, wake up again a couple minutes later, and, and the air sick bag is pulled a little farther out, and you've got that look on your face that says, this is going to happen. And then, yeah, about, uh, <laughs> about two minutes after that, uh, you were calling dinosaurs. Shortly after taking the oath of reenlistment, Sergeant Burke took a jump he'll never forget. We were actually conducting a DZ competition between uh, all the jumpers that day. There were five total jumpers. So the intent was to safely get to as close as the PI marker, the point of impact marker, as possible. We jumped at about 1,700 feet, so we had a lot of hang time. I thought to myself, ha, I'm going to nail this, those suckers. And then as I got over the PI and past the PI, I realized I had misjudged. The winds didn't cooperate with my plan, so I landed a little bit farther off from the PI than I wanted to. Even though he lost the competition, Sergeant Burke landed a few more years in the world's greatest air force. Airman First Class Austin Siegel, POTUS Air Base, Poland. <laughs>